Ready? Yep. What's going on, y'all? We got a new toy today. We actually got two toys. Uh, this is the it's an inflatable paddleboard by Hyperlite. It's actually a Costco special. I think it's $3.99, but they had a $3.19 sale today. So we picked up two. It actually comes with an electric inflate option. Uh, comes with its own paddle uh, board, of course. And comes with a big bag, an actual little dry bag. It looks like maybe something for your key, uh, the fin, strap. So pretty much all in one. In comparison, the, the boat paddleboard brand is about $579. So this was $319, $399. So it seemed like a pretty solid deal. But So opening it up, here's your dry bag. In case you want to put your phone stuff, which is actually a pretty cool thing to like just add in. This is the fin. Looks like it's wrapped up. powder crap. It actually looks hard to get out. Oh. Alright, so it actually took two people to get it out of the box. It was very tight, but it's literally all assembled. It's in the bag. Here's the straps. I haven't even opened it yet. I'm just trusting that everything's in here. It's good to go. Look at that. Actually, not that. It's not that bad. <laughs> We're ready to go. <laughs> so we'll see y'all in a second. We're gonna go down to our local uh, spring. It's about three miles down the road. That's why I bought this house because I wanted to be close to this spring. And uh, we'll see what this is like. Catch you in a second. I just wanted to open it real quick. Um, it actually looks like everything is sort of still wrapped up and they, that little orange thing that I showed you in the picture it's actually a repair kit um, so not sure what this piece is but it comes with looks like the adhesive and comes with some of these actual like you know rubber patches so that's kind of cool that they they add it I hope we don't ever have to use it <laughs> um, but hey yeah, that's thoughtful. Um, not sure what this is. Ankle. Oh, this is the, that's the ankle. And this is the, it's actually good that we're opening this now and not at the river because this should be like really dorky. Um, <laughs> we don't want to be those people. Uh, that's the fin. Or the paddle, I mean, nice. actually looks pretty dope. And then they just connect in. Little button. Boop. Actually, okay. can I do the right part of it? Mm -hmm. Top part's adjustable. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you just pull back. Oh, so it's kind of nice. With both fingers, there you go. And put it in. And you got all your different lengths. You know based off your height you know i'm 5'10 so i guess it goes like right there which if you're six feet goes all the way to if you're like yao ming six six of course <laughs> i think the yao ming is like seven but seems like the average height is right up and that's 50. Yeah, clicks right, right in it's actually like a rubber grip there you go doesn't seem too bad. I mean, it, you get what you pay for. It's a little raggedy, rattly, but hey, I mean, it is what it is. You could probably just leave that part in there, sort of like that. And, nah, no, it's not the length of it. But, yeah. All right. It even comes with a little buckle. That's cool. So that keeps it nice and tight. 
big unveil. there's even any instructions so they must really it did comes with this awesome so it's definitely a car charger so you plug it in your car outlet it's not a hand pump <laughs> at all inflate deflate there's two sides so since we both have one we probably both don't need to bring one every single time. You just really need one. It is nice to have a backup though. I'm not sure what these little plastic rings are. All right, so we got all the plastics or paper wrapping out. Don't leave any at the boat ramp. Just gonna put this all back together. De collapse it all back. And we'll see y'all down at the ramp. Alright. So this is how you set it up. Make sure you got it on the inflate side. Plug it in. Twist it. And then just press the power button. Tell you when you get to 15 and it'll shut shut off. Long way to go. And then you look at it right there. Working on number two. There we go. Not too bad. Pretty sturdy. I mean, it feels about like any normal paddleboard that I've ridden on. Got them at 13 psi now. Kind of scared to go to 15. You know, 15 is the max, so it's kind of like I want to pop it. Not too bad though. Got a little cooler back here. Got plenty of room. Made it.
to like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more paddleboarding videos or reviews of any other type of item. Um, and drop a comment. See y'all next one.